Hi everyone! So this YouTube video I have made especially for one unique subscriber. I was looking through my comments the other day on YouTube and I saw a video request and the request was can you please make a video on how to afford a girlfriend? And my heart absolutely melted when I saw that and I thought how can I not? That is so cute. So well shibby whoever you are and wherever you are in the world I have made this video especially for you so I really hope you enjoy this now okay first of all dates do not need to be expensive that's crazy you don't need to take girls to excessively expensive restaurants and fill the date with elaborate over-the-top activities it's just not necessary some of the best dates are most the most simple dates I should say are the most successful dates. I know for myself um, I the best dates I have personally had have been really low-key and because they were low-key I felt so much more relaxed I felt so, I didn't feel any pressure and because of that I had a lot more fun I enjoyed myself and I really enjoyed getting to know that person. So I've put together a list of I think it's about seven um, budget-friendly, cost-effective dating ideas for you. And I'm going to go through them right now. So one of them is a picnic. Okay, some people think this sounds a bit gay going on a picnic, but it's actually a really sweet idea and, you know, the right type of girl will think that's, you know, will appreciate the effort. And yes, you might need to go and buy some food and even go and buy a nice bottle of wine, but it actually is can be done quite cost-effectively. And you can even, you know, borrow a picnic basket and a nice rug from a family member or a friend so that you know you don't have to go and buy a new um, elaborate fit out. My second idea is if you're someone who's fit and healthy you could ask a girl if she just wants to go for a jog together or even go and have a workout at the gym. Um, there's two benefits of that. You get to know the girl and you also get to improve your health and fitness at the same time and that wouldn't really cost anything. My third idea is to ask them if they want to go for a walk in the park. Um, especially, uh, this is a good one if they've got a dog. Um, I myself, I've got two dogs. I love it when I go on a date with someone and they ask me to go for a walk because I get to know them while being outside in the fresh air and they get to know me and, my, and get to know my two dogs, which are a really important part of my life. Another idea is to go to the beach and go for a swim together. That costs nothing. Um, another one is, which is actually one of my favourites, is asking a girl to go and grab a pizza. You get to support your local businesses and pizza doesn't cost much. What does it cost you? Maybe $50 max? Um, and another one is inviting a girl over to watch a movie. So relaxing, low key, again doesn't actually cost anything. And then my final one, which I think is my best idea, is inviting a girl over for a home-cooked meal. Wow! Um, I love it when people cook for me. It's so nice. It's it's such an effort and it's so personal and you know you're actually welcoming someone into your own home which is really very thoughtful and kind. So there are my top seven tips. Now things like that you know you're using I guess you it's all about effort and it's about getting creative not you know having throwing money at the problem. And I can't speak for all girls, but I know good girls really love and appreciate effort. It makes them feel special, it makes them feel valued, and um, it, it makes them feel a lot more safer and happier to be around you. And of course, those sorts of things are going to obviously help encourage a second, a third, and fourth date, which hopefully then may flow into a beautiful relationship. Now, when you're on the date, of course, you know, making an effort is really important, but sometimes it's actually, you know, those little things that really are important. And those little things are, you know, putting your phone away and um, really connecting with that person, being present, listening to what she has to say, making her laugh, asking her questions about, you know, things that are important to her and what her life and what her, her you know, friends are like and what her family are like. And, um, you know, actually deeply connecting with this person. Um, the other thing that is a really big one for me is chivalry. Things like opening a car door for a girl is really nice. Making sure she's got a, you know, her, her wine or her water glass is, is topped up. Um, you know, uh, offering to pay. Um, 
you know, these sorts of things, you know, these little things go far in my book. Um, and when, you know, the, the right type of girl will really value and appreciate that. And if you start to feel uncomfortable or feel um, maybe embarrassed or ashamed that you're not taking a girl to an expensive restaurant and you, maybe you feel like you're letting her down a bit, you should be honest with them. Say to her, look, I would love to take you to this really expensive five-star restaurant, but right now I'm working really hard on, some, on building my financial goals. Or you might say to her, I'm working really hard on paying my student debts off, or I'm working really hard on saving for my first home. Um, that sort of um, level of motivation and focus, I think, is a big turn on for a lot of girls. It shows that you're, you know, you're taking your life seriously and you want to get ahead financially in life and you want to have a, you know, a better and more stable future. Now, what sort of girl does not want to partner up with a guy who's, you know, motivated and focused like that? That's a great thing. Um, now, I'm going to end this with talking about a high value girl. So. If you find you're on dates with girls and they're putting a lot of pressure on you to go to expensive places and um, you know buy you get you to buy them expensive presents, well then she's clearly not the right type of girl because she's not supporting and respecting what your your situation and the challenges that you're facing and what you're trying to create for yourself. So what I'm trying to say is the right type of girl will absolutely love and appreciate you back and will will notice and value the effort that you're going to and the energy that you're putting in to make her feel you know appreciated respected and valued so i hope you've enjoyed this video um, i wish you the best of luck with all your future dates and remember that you are working on a great thing by being responsible with your money and the right type of girl will love everything about you and more so thank you Weebly for this um, suggestion and um, I hope you enjoy all my other upcoming videos. You can follow me on Instagram everyone and um, you can like us on Facebook and don't forget you can also subscribe to the new Sugar Mama website and that's where you will get your complimentary um, budget. So ciao for now and I'll see you in my next video soon. Bye!